This is how much this tray costs to produce on my 3D printer. Want to know how I did that? Here's the answer. The original calculation sheet was made by CNC Kitchen. You can download it from the link in the description. This is my altered version. I added some general calculations that can serve as a rule of thumb. I always start with the volume. This can be used for the price per cubic centimeter rule to compare. The volume can be extracted from your slicer. Then there's the wait and printing time. These cells must always be filled in. Changing these numbers will automatically calculate the costs. The same applies to the printing time. Changes will result in another price. The print time can also be used for the price per print hour rule to compare. This is how the tray was sliced in Simplify 3D. And here I get my numbers for the volume, weight, and printing time. After entering these numbers, the printing costs should be calculated automatically. Costs in this video are based on the use of Polyterra PLA filament. After that, you can add the markup to calculate profits. This is the printers tab, which will be used for the calculations. The printer depreciation will be calculated exactly after filling in the right numbers. This is the materials tab, which will also be used for the calculations. Here you can enter all materials with specifications. Then, materials can be selected in a drop-down menu. This also applies to the printers you filled in. Finally, there's the general tab to fill in general costs. These values will also be used in the main calculation sheet. This is a phone holder, which costs around 1 euro 47 to produce on my 3D printer. Failures, markup and shipping costs are excluded from this price. A final example, this whole subscribe button costs around 1 euro and 38 cents to produce. Also check out my design and engineering channel where I post many tutorials. And have a look at my website where everything comes together. Thank you for watching. Also check out my other videos and channels.